For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone here with head football coach Adam Dorrell. We are at Wildcat Stadium in the club level. We can hear the band practicing, getting ready for Saturday's grand opening of this brand-new football facility, the first in some 60 years here at ACU. Coach, what are you most looking forward to about Saturday night? Well, I think just uh, there's a combination of things. I think, I think for me personally, it's like, uh, you know, I want us to do well as a football team. I want to do well, and I want to represent all the people that put so much into this. It's – I've had the easy part, you know. <laughs> I got here in January where everything was getting done, and there's so many people for for the last few years that have put a lot of energy, time, money uh, into making this thing happen. And, and, you know, we just want everybody to know we're very aware of that, and we, mm. we're, we're trying to do our best uh, to make it a great night. Your hard part comes in trying to beat a Houston yeah. Baptist team that has steadily improved over the last few years. They're one and one. Yeah. They lost to an FBS team in Texas State by only nine points yeah. on the road. Then they beat Texas Southern and FCS team. So when you look at the film and you look at Vic Sheely's Huskies, what do you see? Well, you know, Vic does a heck of a job. His kids are very fundamentally sound. They're tough. Uh, you know, you anybody that knows anything about football, if you watch that Texas State game, they were – they, in my opinion, outplayed Texas State. They were a lot more physical than Texas State. They lined up and uh, were just you know, hitting them, you know. And, and uh, Texas State didn't respond real well to that. So, uh, ever since then, I think they kind of formed an identity that week one. Uh, obviously, last Thursday, you know, they're going to be on a 10-day rest playing us. True. But last Thursday, I, what really impressed me about them is just – uh, that had to be a very emotional game for them. Uh, you know, I know a lot of their coaches have had, obviously, issues. Uh, their players have had issues, family. And the way that they came out and played, they didn't look distracted at all. They played hard. Uh, I know, you know, those people should be very proud of that team and the way they played. Um, they just got a lot of kids that are playing hard, some, some good experience. But, like, their quarterback, for example, he's a kid who's a freshman and – Man, he does, he does not look like a freshman playing <laughs> yeah. right now. He's really, really gritty. Bailey Zappi is the quarterback, and he threw for uh, nearly 250 yards in that win over Texas Southern. Uh, they have a linebacker. We like to, to talk yeah. about Sam Denmark for good reason. Yeah. They've got Garrett Dolan, yeah. who, who, along with Sam, the top two tacklers among active players and career tackles in all of FCS. Your team coming out of the two games against FBS opponents. There was a lot to like, wasn't there? There was. Uh, the thing that I liked the most is I feel like our kids uh, compete, and I don't feel like they're going to be scared of anybody. Uh, they're not going to back down from people. And so that was really uh, assuring to me. Obviously, this is new for me, new team, didn't know what to expect. Sure. After two weeks, I know we have a, a group of kids that are gritty, that are passionate about football. Uh, are we perfect? No. We're far from perfect, and we have to get better. But we're, we're – we're trying to do things the right way. Our kids are trying to do things the right way through the way they practice, class, just the way they conduct themselves. And, you know, we're very proud of them for that. You're zero and zero in the Southland yep. Conference. What's the most important thing to be 1-0 after Saturday night? Well, I think the thing, and I know I'll sound redundant over the year, but college football, especially when you're playing a, a very uh, similarly type of opponent from mm -hmm. a talent level, we're, I think we're evenly matched. Turnovers, uh, obviously, are going to be huge. Uh, I'm very proud of our kids, our coaching. I feel like we outplayed our opponents in special teams mm. the first two weeks, and I think that's going to go a long way in this league. So we're, we want to try to build on that uh, Saturday. Uh, to get settled into the game, uh, to be passionate, because, you know, passion is sustainable. It can go for four quarters, three hours. Mm. Emotion wears off. We don't want to be emotional. We want to be passionate about the day and, and the atmosphere. But not get caught up in it. You know, I, I've told our players all week, this is very similar to like a homecoming game. Yes. Uh, there's a lot going on, but, but we have one job, and, and we, we need to try to win the football game. It will be a great atmosphere. The grand opening of Anthony Field at Wildcat Stadium, 6 o'clock against Houston Baptist. We will have a special one-hour pregame show on the ASU Sports Network beginning at 5. For Coach Doral, I'm Grant Boone.